Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, let me turn this up. I'm not sure <clears throat> if you guys can hear me or not. Okay. Came on early as I usually do to get the business out of the way. Um, I know I'm sounding like a man. My lungs are still <coughs> recuperating. Hi, Mark. How you doing today? Well, we need to talk, Mark. There's a lot of things going on, so uh, we need to talk. Hey, Brandon. Uh, really quick, guys. First of all, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, uh, there's a lot of thundering going on here in Newport News, but um, I came on early for several reasons, just in case the thunder gets out of control. We still can get some of this topic in, and also. Um, Hey, Floria and Missy, how y'all doing? Um, uh, I, I ask you guys uh, humbly to please go over to YouTube and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. Of course, it's called The Less D Experience. And the difference between Facebook and the YouTube channel, once I get enough subscribers, um, I'm going to be interviewing some of my uh, celebrity friends. Um, you're going to be following me, getting back into the groove after my medical hiatus uh, for the last three years. Um, that's doing my voiceovers for the books and um, um, interviewing uh, people on their jobs or you know, anything you really, really wanted to know. How do they do that? I wonder how they do that, you know, so we can have like a whole bunch of crazy fun on YouTube and it's going to get even more raw over there. Things you can't do on Facebook, but you can do over YouTube. So uh, please go over and get some friends or whatever else to go over and subscribe, like and view um, the videos over there. Uh, I, I got some things already lined up and planned, but I don't want to really start without giving it at least a thousand subscribers and i want to do that by december 25th hey you have not because you asked not <laughs> so um we're going to do that over there on youtube sorry stuff coming apart that ain't sexy uh, <laughs> but um that's what we're doing over there and also i i don't even know how to approach uh what's going on here um, I have a lot of you, and I, and I thank you for those who have already supported um, what I'm doing here on Facebook, but a lot of people, oh my gosh, are writing in. Do you guys remember Dear Abby? Yeah, it's turned into some kind of something like that here on uh, on the Less D experience, and I just always say, Chad, we all need therapy. I am no expert. It's just me and you all sharing our experiences and our opinions and working things out, our everyday practical stuff out together. <laughs> Every now and then, I've had some people come on to share you know, their experiences or give some expertise. I know Dr. Raheem was one of them. Hey, Steve and Rodney and Susie and Regis, why do I sound like the... Uh, Will you be my neighbor guy? <laughs> Douglas, hey, Gigi, how you feeling, baby? I hope you're feeling good. Um, so that's what's going on over here. But I, um, Barry Reed, uh, I did not forget you, Barry. And maybe I can slip your uh, brief question in somewhere. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But people have been writing me some very personal stuff. And they want me to address it. Now, other people want me to suggest subdress address that Nicki Minaj stuff like I, I don't do that that's not my platform it's enough people talking about celebrity news and blah 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 you know I'm here for the common folk yes for us is them people don't know us you got people fighting who on this side who on that side them people don't know you and don't pay your rent or your mortgage so I keep it moving I don't have a cock in the fight or an opinion you know that I want to express publicly you know so i'm gonna read you a letter i'm gonna skip some things and i'm gonna hesitate because um the the diva may be watching um but i ask you hey journey how you doing hey susan um i'm asking her sweetheart i'm asking you um to refrain from commenting you know because it's still really fresh for you and i don't want you to give your identity away Okay, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna read her. She gave me her permission and she wanted me to do this. And like I said, we're all in therapy. <laughs> this is our therapy group. <laughs> um, we're gonna discuss 
the, the topic is four o'clock. So uh, the topic is, would you date or marry someone with an STD? Now, I'm going to read you why I put that up there. Okay. Hey, James and Eddie and Otis. And I want you guys, first of all, rules of the house. Don't be disrespectful, please. Don't be rude. Don't be obnoxious. We're all grown folks. Because I told you guys when I first started this um, show, uh, this is uh, a no holds barred type of show for adults only. 18 years and up, don't have your children watching me at any given time. You know, because we, we keep it real and we deal with real issues for grown folk. All right. Okay. And so this is a judgment free zone. You guys don't have to disclose what you have, what you used to have, what you're going to get. Nah, it's not that type of party. Uh, this young woman, um, she wrote me and I agreed to do it. Okay. Uh, and we're going to get started. Okay. No, John A is already asking, um, what were they doing to get it? Multiple partners. No. Okay. I am going to pull up on my phone. Um, okay. She said, um, well, I'm trying to put my clothes on. Ridiculous. She said, um, greetings, Les D. First of all, I just want to thank you for creating this platform. Uh, for the regular folk, as you say. <laughs> um, child, I should have made the font bigger. Uh, I want to, to let you know that you are helping a lot of people. A lot of people view your uh, show, but don't make comments or let you know that, they, that they're there. But we are there. This is a situation that I would like for you to uh, bring to your audience. And I want to hear what they have to say about it because I really don't know what to do. She said, uh, my husband and I, listen very carefully, guys. Hey, Paris. Shut up, Susie. Tell my clothes coming off. They are. I don't know. I don't know what's happened to my clothes. I need to buy some more, Susie. But she said, um, my husband and I have been married over 10 years. Uh, we met, when I met him, I was a virgin. And he was the only man I've ever been with. Uh, just recently... We, we don't have children yet. We both decided to focus on our careers. He knows that I very much want a family. Recently, I had to go to the doctor for some routine checkups and some other things that I thought may have been going on. And I was informed that I have herpes. Now, I know that I have not been with anyone but my husband. When I brought the situation up to him, he was like, he don't know how I got it because he ain't got nothing. Those are his quotes and unquote. Okay. But I know, and he really knows too, that I have not been with anybody but him. I'm hurt. I feel betrayed. And I don't know what to do. I know he's lying. He knows he's lying. And then he had the audacity to say, well, you might as well, when I expressed, I'm sorry, then after I expressed that I wanted to leave, he said, well, you might as well stay with me since we both have it anyway. Ain't nobody else going to want you. She said, now, Leslie, I feel that I am now damaged goods. Will anybody date me or I don't, I don't think anybody would date me or marry me because unlike him, I would tell them up front that I have uh, the STD. So therefore I feel like I'm undateable and my plans to having children are out the window. Can you please talk to your audience about this? Thank you so much. Love and kisses, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, John A says, no, she's not damaged goods. You can get rid of it, boo. No, her, she got herpes, baby. You can't get rid of herpes. You know, she went in, um, 
I'm still looking at it. We were going back and forth in the conversation, and I and I see that I um, I asked her uh, where is she with it right now. She says she's taking medication for it. He still has not um, cop to it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. Like I said, um, a sweetheart, uh, I'm not gonna call her name. And if you are watching, don't respond. Um, wow. And you should see her guys. She's a beautiful, 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 um, thickums as y'all men like to call it. Beautiful, uh, woman, wonderful career. Cause we discussed all of that. I didn't read everything we was going back and forth with, um, wonderful career, uh, solid financially. Just, oh my God. I'm speak, I'm trying not. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Flo, I'm going to just talk to y'all and let y'all talk for a minute. Floria is saying he done bumped his head. Leave the betrayal. Leave. The betrayal is beyond repair. Okay. Susie is saying, as long as you're up front, there are plenty of men who will date you and she can have a baby. She would just have to have to have a cesarean. Okay, Susie, thank you. We're gonna we're gonna try to do this because I'm trying to keep my raw emotions out of the way because I'm supposed to be just hosting this show and not acting up. So Susie Spears, if you guys look over in your comment section, she's a um, you're a registered nurse, right, Susie? For I think she's a registered retired nurse, so she knows exactly what she's talking about. And I'm glad she brought that up because I did not know the ins and outs of the medical things. I don't know anything, you know, about the herpes virus and things like that. But um, Susie is saying, sweetheart, if you're watching or if you're going to watch later, that you still can have a baby, but you can't have it vaginally. You have to have a cesarean, and the baby will be fine. So whew, I'm glad. I'm glad about that. I, I'm glad to hear that. So that solved one of the issues that you were concerned about. But I really, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Susie says she's an LPN. Thanks, Susie. Um, Jack is saying, yes, I would. Everybody needs love. And that's why I want some of the men to chime in, guys. Tell me how you feel about that. And this can go either way, too. The, I, I, I've never been, uh, um, in any of my videos, been biased to one side or another. I like to keep it fair. Because this could have happened to a man, too. So I'm asking women as well, would you date a man who was up front with you and said, you know, he has herpes, he's getting treated for it. You know, he has the, I forgot the, whatever people take for it. But um, so either way guys, but I really want the men, since the, a young lady is the one that wrote in, I want you guy, how you doing? Guys, my cousin, how you doing? Um, hey, Terrell, how you doing? I, I, I really need the guys to talk to me about this. Um, and she's watching. She just texts me. She is watching. So, guys, we're going to be mature on here. And we're really going to help her out and probably some others that's watching. Okay, men, how would you want, because um, she is a head turner. She is a head turner. You know, I mean, she's the type of woman I heard men said, I'll drink your bath water. Beautiful woman, intelligent, humble, sweet, loyal. That's how she knows she ain't did. He did it. You know, so. How would you want her to approach you guys? On which date? Uh, the first conversation? How does all that work? Can somebody talk to me about that? Okay, uh, Floria is saying, life is definitely not over. You can survive this, sis, keep pushing. And hey, guy, how you doing? Guy, I mean, I need a guy um, to uh, tell me, how would you want a female to approach this situation with you? Drop dead gorgeous, got her own bag own home, got everything going for her, no children. Um, how would you want, or how can someone like her approach you? When, when would you, when is the appropriate time for her to tell you, look, I got this thing uh, that happened to me. Um, my husband did it. Hopefully he'll be an ex soon, but I can't be going to nobody's house and telling about how to leave, when to leave, and whatever else. Because if I'm not paying their bills and their mortgage or whatever, providing for them, I am very careful not to tell people what I would do is. No. Uh, but we're going to have this conversation. I'm so glad I got nurses on here. Um, 
I'm waiting for uh, my couple of the counselors and psychologists to come on up here as well. Um, but I personally feel like this. First of all, I think it's a shame and a travesty for someone to, if you're going to cheat, my, what I could never understand is when you're out there slinging and banging, why don't you wrap it up? I, I, I just, a spe period, but especially if you got a spouse at home, you know, male or female, or, you know, you got a spouse at, a, at home and you out there slinging and dropping it and licking it and all this stuff without any protection. And also, why do people consider oral sex a thing that you don't have to be protected from? I, I, I asked my boys this when they were in college and they was telling me what the college life was like there. And um, one of my sons was like, mom, people do oral sex like shaking hands. You meet and shake hands, right? They meet and give oral sex. I'm like, is anybody protected? He's like, no. I, I just, <laughs> my question is, why are you doing all this stuff? People are still calling. I, I can't. Guys, don't call the phone because I can't answer it while I'm on live. Uh, put your questions or your remarks here. Hey, Dale. Hey, Sanaida. Put the question in the remarks up here. Don't call me because I can't um, answer you uh, while I'm on live. But I, I don't understand. And I did a little bit of research because I'm green in, uh, in a lot of this stuff. And so I try to know at least a little bit of what I'm talking about. But um, I ran across, because I talked to a lot of people, and they said, you know, for oral sex for um, men, of course, they got, uh, I think, flavored uh, condoms or whatever else. But I was like, well, what about the women? Because, you know, do they have anything for women? And a, a, a friend of mine, a female friend of mine, I was like, yeah, it's called Dental Dam. I was like, they couldn't have named that anything else. <laughs> yeah, I thought she like it's a weird name. But um, those of you who don't know what it is, look, I get to like act like I know, but someone told me and I went on Google and I saw the images and you guys can do the same thing. It's like this sheet of something that you can lay over the female parts and you, you know, get doing your business or whatever else. That's just an extra couple of seconds just to be safe. And I just, I just think it's a shame that this woman has to deal with this and she's feeling like she's damaged goods. And, you know, and when you're dating people, you don't know how long you're going to date somebody. So I don't feel like she, gosh, that means people be knowing, if they break up, this guy will be knowing her business or he might tell somebody. It's just a, it's just a touchy situation. Jack is saying no one chooses to catch an STD. Of course not, Jack. <laughs> but my question is, I wasn't saying nobody choose to catch an STD, but my question is, you know, when I was, uh, cause I went to college for, uh, early childhood education. And the one of the things they told us when we was um, getting our degree was treat every child as if they have a disease or HIV or whatever else. So therefore, cause they weren't allowed to tell the teachers what kid had what. That was back in the 90s. I don't know if that's changed or not. So we always had to wear our gloves, always had to be protected, always don't put our hands and throw up and blah, 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 blah. So my question is, just wrap it up. There's only a couple of seconds that you can hesitate in what you're doing. I know it's be hot and heated and everybody just want to get it in. But, you know, if you are a cheating spouse or um, fiance or girlfriend or boyfriend and you know you're going back home to an unsuspecting partner why don't you just wrap it up i mean I, I don't understand and jack is saying you are usually lied to and in love and in love or a little reckless okay hi jennifer thanks darling um jennifer you've never heard of what the dental dam i think i'm saying it correctly yeah, it, it looks like to me, it looks like colored saran wrap to me. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. It's not saran wrap, but it's like thin pieces of plastic. Um, and I'm not sure if they come in flavors or not. I don't know. But you lay it like if the woman's like laying there, you lay it across anywhere where you're going to do whatever. <laughs> don't try to. Uh. <laughs> so that's how you can protect yourself from getting oral if you're a guy, you know, serving. Uh, anyway, just look it up, Jennifer. <laughs>
And Jack is also saying, and the person who gave it to you never fess up and says, I'm sorry. That's another thing. They don't, you know, she doesn't even have any closure. She knows without a shadow of a doubt that he did this because she was a virgin when they met, because they met in like, in like early college and things like that, girlfriend or boyfriend, fiance, then they married. So she knows for a fact, she hasn't done anything. So he did this thing, won't even say you got me or you right, or I don't know what the slang is, bet, I don't know, or sit her down or break down and cry. I'm not saying he didn't have any remorse. Maybe he went in his car. We can't say that. Maybe he went somewhere and like, man, you messed up and cried or whatever. But he needs to give her closure. First of all, he needs to acknowledge it. Stop acting like people crazy up out here. If you busted in something, go, yo, you don't bust it. You right. I did this. Or whatever. Don't say, well, since we got it, you know, we might as well stay together because you can't do anybody no more raw. That's what was said. Man, okay. <laughs> okay, Jennifer is saying, personally, I've never thought of being married for 23 years, so I might. Okay. Susie is saying, that's correct, Leslie. Anywhere you are going to perform oral sex needs to be covered. Um, Jack is saying, hey, Rick, how you doing? They don't go to the clinic. You have to out them. Ugh. And that's another thing, guys. It's such a, it's such a touchy, volatile situation because Jack is saying out them. You really don't know people. You don't really know what people's gone through. You don't know their breaking points. You don't know if they got it all together for real. You know, so if you out somebody, you may be in a situation where someone's trying to shoot you, kill you, or bust you in your head for out them. It's just, you have to be very, very careful with this type of situation um, when it comes to like girlfriend or boyfriends and people out in the street and things like that. But this particular situation, I really think this woman, even if she chooses to leave him, she's afraid to leave him because she don't think no real man, no successful man, no good man will want her because she feel like she's damaged goods. But unlike him, she has the integrity and, 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 and the courage to tell somebody up front, hey, I, I, I got this. This is how I got it. Right off the bat, before they kiss, hold hands, whatever. She said that's what she um, would do because she didn't want to take somebody else's uh, choice away. But you, y'all, come on. Let's all be real now. We got to keep this real. You will have some guys that would not even look at her twice, would shy away from her. No, man, I can't deal with that. And they have that right. They have that right because people aren't educated as they need to be when it comes to situations like that. Now, I feel you can have a perfectly fine sexual relationship if you have herpes with someone who does not have herpes because you can take those precautions. You can take your medications. Um, that's what I read up on. Uh, and that's what, you know, she has a couple of pamphlets and, you know, I read through it online and things like that. But um, I, I just, I, my heart goes out to her. I'm so glad that Susie jumped on here as an LPN and, and gave her one bit of good news that she still can have her a baby. They just, it just cannot come the natural way. They have to have it uh, through a cesarean. Hello, Neil, how you doing? Rick was saying STD can be permanent or temporary. We're talking about the herpes one. Um, this is what the young lady wrote in about Rick. Um, Jack is saying, if I am in love and she tells me the truth up front, I would be with her. That is so amazing. How many other guys feel like Jack? You know, because I need to know that. She needs to see you guys. She needs to see the support. Honesty will get her get her far. You know, the fact that she even has the mind to not do this to anybody else. I commend her. I, yes, I commend her. People are still calling. Guys, stop calling. Put it, um, put your comments on the, um, okay. Put your comments up here, guys. Don't call me. I can't pick up the phone. Um, Susie said, when you start with a new partner, you should both be tested together. Hey, Christy. Yeah. yeah, but if they say no, 
you can't make them be tested. If they say no, they don't want to be tested with you, uh, would that be a deal breaker? Would you stop talking to them? Uh, what about that? Um, Ty is saying, hello, Ty and Otis. I think because of the world that we live in today, no matter what safe sex should be a significant part of the relationship. She's, oh, he said, no matter what, safe sex should be a, a significant part of the relationship. And Rick Lamar says, love conquers all. Aww. And that's what is, uh, what is going to have to be. Aww, that is, I'm so glad I have some intelligent, smart, compassionate men on here because she's watching, guys. She's watching. And um, Jack is saying herpes is dormant for at least 10 years or before, or better, before it shows up. Well, she still ain't have it because she was a virgin. So, yeah. Okay, and Susie is saying the LPN, the nurse, is saying genital herpes simplex virus infection is a recurrent lifelong disease with no cure. <sighs> Susie, um, I don't know much about it. Um, hey, Floria. Um, so when, when is, how do you know when it's active and how, how does she have to live her life? I mean, I mean, tell me how it does. Like if it's not, if it's active and how she know when it's active, do you kiss people? Do you not kiss people? Do you share cups? Um, give us some education, Susie, since you're the nurse up here. Um, Floria says, I say we bring back the blood test you had to perform back in the day. It would be less drama. You, oh yeah, before marriage? Oh, okay. And um, yes, yeah, Susie, tell, I mean, I know it's a lot to type, Sue, but um, if you can, Susie, take time to type out um, how she knows when she's having an out, you call it an outbreak or, or she's, I don't know, a flare up, um, what she can and cannot do. Do you kiss babies? Uh, just simple everyday stuff that people don't think about. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Um, Okay, Rick Lamar is saying, I have to put this out there. This STD can be cured with proper diet and herbs. Okay, Rick, so we're open to everybody's um, experiences, opinions, and expertise. Put in the comments, Rick, what type of herbs and what type of diet, what type of holistic um, things you're talking about for those of people who are watching who have it. And Susie's saying, sores, outbreaks are active you should refrain from unprotected sex. Um, that, does that mean um, kissing? Um, I know not tongue kissing probably, I'm guessing, um, Susan, or um, kissing with closed mouth. Do you kiss babies on the forehead or the cheeks and things like that? Do you share spoons? Do you? That's the kind of stuff that people need to know that we need to talk about here because we just want to be informative on this show today. Oh my God, I got seven minutes. Are you kidding me? Ugh. And Jack is saying, you know, blisters and welts, um, skin gets red. Okay. All right. First of all, I just want to say to this beautiful, 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 beautiful uh, young lady, I want to commend you and thank you uh, for reaching out to me and for even posing the question and opening your situation up because I know who you are. So even to just uh, tell me is very courageous. And I think you're gorgeous. I think you're smart and you're intelligent. You have so much to offer. You know, I can't tell you to leave your husband. You know, that's a decision you have to make, but the betrayal is real. And it's just unfathomable that he is not even own, own it up to it. So you got to work those out yourself. I wouldn't dare tell nobody, lead a man, lead a woman on here, but you're intelligent. Do what you need to do. And um, according to everybody, okay, Susie, Susie's saying you can kiss if no lesions are present. Hey, Maria, how you doing? Okay, guys, to sum it all up. Okay. Oh, just to say, whoever this young woman is, she's extremely courageous and she will be victorious from this. Yes. Um, and Jack is saying herpes above the hips we call cold sores. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and Susie was saying, you know, tell her life has its ups and downs, but she will survive. 
And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes. Um, I have to go, guys. Uh, I need to do something with the length of this show. Um, I, I just wanted to say to the young lady, like I stated before, you are courageous. You are awesome. You are phenomenal. And you will have your baby. Um, I wouldn't suggest having it with him, but that's my opinion. He hasn't earned that baby. He doesn't deserve that baby from you. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm not going to tell you to leave him or stay. I just want you to be um, healthy. Uh, I think Rick Lamar is going to put some holistic things in the comments. Um, it can't hurt uh, to you know, do something holistic. Also, continue to see your doctor and uh, stay on your medication as well. Uh, and I don't know how you start your dating process, uh, but you first you got to close one chapter before you open another. So you got to deal with this husband of yours. And if he's still not fessing up to it, me, Leslie, I, I, Les will have to go. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got no kids either. You know, I would have to go. Uh, but um, I just want to know that I'm here at the Leslie Experience uh, interactive live talk show that you are loved, you are celebrated, and um, you can continue to call me and talk to me anytime. Okay. Uh, messenger is fine. You don't have to call or anything like that. We don't have to swap numbers. I don't have to get that close to you. But if you just want a sounding board, if you just want uh, to keep from killing somebody that day, you can hit me up and call me. Um, I thank you guys also for helping her out. And um, I, I just, my heart aches. I'm trying not to like bust out crying on here because she's not the only one that this has happened to, male or female. Okay. But I just want to let you know, guys know that life is not over. It isn't. It isn't over. And uh, all I can do is say, guys, you know, go over to the. Um... Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Susie. Um, Jack is saying you will be OK. You will be OK. All righty. So I'm going to wrap this up, guys, because I have to go. I have to go. I thank you. First of all, uh, I thank all of you who prayed for me through my bron bronchitis ordeal. Um, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Thursday will be canceled because I don't even know if we have electricity here in Newport News, Virginia, because uh, we've been prep prepping for the hurricane. Um, it was thundering just a few minutes ago. So Thursday will not be happening. I don't think I should be on live <laughs> doing the hurricane. Not smart. So I will see you guys again Tuesday. And if you guys have some more information for the young lady um, or just information in general, or if you want to contact me, you know, and I don't tell nobody's business. I, I don't do that. So if you want to share with me or open up to me what's happening with you or what is happening with you in private, that's perfectly fine. I don't tell family, friends, pets, or chickens your business. I don't get down like that. Mm -mm. It's been done to me too many times. People tell them my business. So uh, keep the conversation. Um, <clears throat> at least I didn't go off to the end. <clears throat> keep the conversation going over there in the comments. And guys, please remember to go over to the YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description box and subscribe, view, and like. Uh, because I don't know how long this Facebook thing will be going, going on. So I need to get my subscribers up um, on YouTube. And so we can start the fun stuff. I've got a couple of people already waiting to be in interviewed. Yes, some celebrity friends, things like that. <clears throat> so I want you guys to uh, just show each other love. Love somebody, man. It's too much tomfoolery going on around here. When people at each other's throat unnecessarily, it's crazy. So we all need therapy, child. We all need therapy, especially moi. <laughs> so uh, keep the conversation going over there. Hey, Renee, I'm sorry you missed it. Oh, thanks, Barry. Uh, I got to go, guys. Love you much, 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 much. And remember, don't look down on the man unless you pick him up. You know, keep the conversation going over there. And the less, um, the less in the com uh, comment section and let's talk. <laughs>